This is the comprehensive guide to setting up the TP-Link RE505X. I will show you three methods from the simplest to the most advanced. Quick heads up before we start, make sure that the extender is plugged into the power socket next to your rotor within 16 feet or less and this power indicator glows solid blue. And of course your rotor must be connected to the internet and broadcast Wi-Fi. Now let's get started. The easiest and the fastest way to start using the extender is to connect it by WPS. Uh, so first of all, find the WPS button on your router. Usually it's on the back panel and usually it's labeled, so you will easily find it. Here it is. Press the WPS button on the router and then press the WPS button on the extender. This is the great button with the padlock icon next to it. So press it once. Now all you have to do is to wait for all four LED indicators to start glowing solid blue. Or if you have the single band rotor, uh, you will see only three in a row, uh, power, Wi-Fi and 2.4G. Uh, and now also you can check for new Wi-Fi networks on your Wi-Fi networks list. So now we still don't have anything new here. Uh, I have my Wi-Fi, this is my uh, main router's network name. Now I have the new network, my Wi-Fi 5 GHz, but extended, EXT stands for extender. Let's wait for 2.4 GHz as well. Yes, that's it. Now we are connected and you can start using your extender, just relocate it to the better uh, position somewhere between uh, the rotor and Wi-Fi dead zone, but uh, the extender must be uh, still in the rotor's range and this Wi-Fi signal can help you with this. If it's blue, it means the signal is strong enough, but if it's red, it means you need to move extender closer to the rotor. And let's move ahead. Now let's connect the extender via smartphone and this is my favorite method because it's super simple and at the same time gives me the full control over my Wi-Fi network in my pocket. Uh, so uh, you need to go to your respective application store in your smartphone and install the TP-Link Tether application, then open this application. When you open it for the first time, uh, you will need either to create an account or log in. Uh, I will skip this step because I already have an account. Login is a super simple process, so you will manage it by yourself. Let me just show you how the application works and how to connect the extender. Uh, so you need to go to My Devices screen. And here uh, you need to connect to the extender's network. You can do it from your Wi-Fi settings in your phone. So TP-Link extender, that's what we need. It's connected, let's go back to the application. Now we see RE505X. If you don't see your extender in this list, tap on the plus icon, then tap on add a range extender. Make sure that the LED power indicator is solid on. Confirm this by tapping on the button. Grant the location permission while using the app. Then tap on next and wait for this search to be completed. Connecting to the extender and now let's create the device password. This is not Wi-Fi password, this is password to manage, to access the management panel of your extender. So write the password down somewhere to not forget it, because if you forget this password, uh, you will need to hard reset the extender. It's not very, very good, because you will have to set, set it up from scratch. And now you need to choose the network you wish to extend. My main network's name is my Wi-Fi, so I wish to extend this network. This is my current Wi-Fi password, I have to enter it to get an access to the network. And let me extend 5 GHz network too. Tap on next once again. Check if everything is correct and then tap on next. 
and here you can rename uh, your extender for example if you wish to tell apart uh, different extenders for different rooms you can name them like bedroom bathroom kitchen living room and so on let me stick with defaults and tap on next so here you just need to wait it may take up to two minutes And regardless of the connection method, you will see uh, the changing LED lights. They will turn solid on. And once you see this screen confirm location, you can simply relocate uh, your extender uh, to the place where it serves the best of all, then tap on next and copy password to uh, connect to your new extended Wi-Fi network. Go to your Wi-Fi settings and find your new networks in this list. EXT, EXT. That's it. Once connected, you can go back to the application. and start managing your extender. No internet, this is not true. Let's fix it by simple tapping here. Now everything works well. So uh, this is uh, the application menu. And for example, if you tap on the extended net network, you can change the extender's network name and uh, tap on security and you can change password and select the new security type. Also, you can go to the More tab and connect the extender to one mesh network. This is a seamless uh, network. All your gadgets will connect at the highest possible speed across your house without entering password and reconnecting between different routers and extenders. Uh, it's a good thing. Uh, block list, location assistant, Wi-Fi coverage, and uh, very important is operation mode. If you have the free LAN socket in your wall, you can directly connect the extender using the Ethernet cable uh, and get the highest speed uh, possible. So use it as an access point mode if you have such an ability. Uh, and that's it. Let's proceed now. I'll show you the most advanced method. And the most advanced, of course, is the browser connection method, is the 100% total control. So first of all, you need to go to the Wi-Fi settings on your PC or Mac and connect to the extender's network, TP-Link extender, that's what we need. Click on that, click on connect, and then go to your web browser, I'm the Firefox ambassador in this case, uh, and type the following IP address in the search bar. 192.168.0.254 write it down somewhere and it takes you to the welcome page here you need to create the device password same as on your uh, smartphone the same way then click on start I prefer don't save it here and uh, now let's select the network we wish to extend and enter the current network's password. In future, uh, you, can you will use this password to uh, connect to your extender until you change it. If you wish to change, of course. Wait for a while for connection detection. And let's select the 2.4 gigahertz network, enter password, tap on next, check everything if everything is correct, and click on confirm. Here you can rename the extenders. Let's rename extender to hello just for fun. And click on next. Now just wait for a connection and also you can observe your LED uh, lighting panel on the extender. 
you need to see four in a row if, if you have dual band rotor and three in a row if you have single band rotor. But the main process is going on here. So first of all, you, you need to believe your uh, computer in this case. So and now you can do relocate your extender, place it somewhere in better place where you need the stronger Wi-Fi signal. Uh, then you can connect to the network, go to Wi-Fi settings once again, and here we, we have our Hello extender. Let's connect to 5 gigahertz, enter password. Keep in mind this is the same password as for your main rotor, click on next. Now we are connected, let's check the checkbox, I have connected and click on finish and it takes us to the login page. And now enter your device password, do you remember it? I recommend you to write it down, then click on login. So and you, here you can straight away to connect to the TP-Link cloud service to manage your network remotely. Uh, I'll do it later. And remember or write down this address tp-link repeater.net because by this address you can anytime uh, to access uh, the admin panel of your extender. Uh, so what you can do here, uh, I, I will show you what you cannot do in the mobile application, but can do in browser only. So you can go to system tools, uh, you can go to backup and restore and create a backup file. Uh, why do you want to do this? Because if you have the successful configuration, if you have numerous connected gadgets, uh, customized settings, you don't want to lose it in case if you need to reset the device. So I recommend you to uh, do this, make a backup file, uh, download it, and then later, if you need to make a hard reset, you can go back to this menu, uh, go to the restore section uh, over here, click on browse, upload your configuration file here, restore file, uh, and use all settings. Uh, same as in application, you can put uh, the extender into access point, mode, you can use easy mesh or one mesh uh, connection if your rotor supports this. And for now that's it, you're all set and I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching, subscribe to the channel and have a nice day. Bye guys.